Hey guys, Ashley here. Today I am going to film a five minute face video. I just got off, out of the shower, I have no makeup on, and I have my hair pinned in the top of my head because that's kind of like how I like it when I do my makeup, just out of my face, not in the way. So um, I'm gonna set my timer and do just a very kind of basic everyday face low Okay, So I am setting the timer right now for five minutes and begin. So I'm going to start out with some Tarte Tinted BB Cream. This is a super easy one to use. And my Real Techniques brush. Get this all over the face, kind of blend it out really quickly. The great thing about this um, BB cream foundation, whatever you want to call it, it gives a little bit of coverage, but it also looks really, really natural. So a little bit goes a long way. Don't need a ton. It's kind of foolproof. Um, can't really mess it up. Uh, depending on how bad of your skin is, you might need to build it up in certain areas, but I just do a really quick layer. Next, I'm going to go in with some OCC concealer. Ooh, I'm dropping things with my Sigma flat top brush. And just get a little of that under my eye. Do a little bit of that kind of like V triangle thing. Just kind of pounce that. Um, just to kind of conceal the under eye area and any other perfections that you might have. Sometimes I like to go right by my brows. I have a lot of redness there and around my nose. I hope you guys can see me okay. Okay, so that's that. Next, I'm going to set my foundation with a bit of powder. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural by MAC. So this gives another, just a little bit more coverage, but not too much. Again, very natural. And then next, I'm going to go in with some bronzer and contour my face. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin and just a little angled brush and just kind of contour my cheekbones, around my temples. You can do the three if that's what you like to do, whatever kind of works for you. I like to use a small brush versus a big brush to kind of keep it to a certain area of the face. I don't like when bronzer like contaminates my whole face. Let's see where we're at on time. Two minutes and 32 seconds, okay. Next I'm gonna go in with uh, a little bit of blush. Two minutes. Just kinda updating you guys. This is a little coral kind of blush. Gives a nice little pop of color. Um, Next, I'm going to go in with my Soft Ochre Paint Pot and get a little bit of this on my Sigma brush. I don't like to use my fingers, so just getting this kind of on my eyes to cancel out any redness and blend that in. This is probably a step I could have skipped, but I have a lot of redness on my lids. Okay, I'm down to a minute and 48 seconds, so I might have to... Uh, skip some eyeshadow. Take a little mascara. I'm not a big liner person, so if it were me and I had to skip something, I would probably skip liner. But it's kind of up to you what you would skip. Okay. Getting a little down to the wire here. But I'm feeling good. Feeling good about how this looks. Um, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a lip stain. Oh, I still have a minute. Look at that. This is another Tarte lip stain. Uh, this is in the color Joy. Another kind of corally color. There's that. And because I still have a minute left, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of a neutral brown color to my crease. I'm gonna use this one from the Naked Palette. Just to add a little bit of definition to my eyes. Oh, 
Okay, 26 seconds. And I think the one thing I didn't do that I wish I had time to do is fill in my brows. So I have 15 seconds. Let's see if I can do this really quickly. Probably would use a little bit more, but that is it. I'm done. So that is my five minute face. I think I did a pretty good job. Um, it's a really natural, just everyday look. Uh, I'm wearing a coral kind of shirt today. So I wanted to stick with the corals um, and using this modern mandarin blush and then also the joy cheek or lip stain with it. I love just doing a really neutral eye like this. Um, I think it's really pretty and, and easy. I'm more of a cheek and lip person, but if you're more of an eye person, you can focus on your eyes and then not do a cheek or a lip. Um, it's kind of up to you to just focus on what you think your best features are, but this is my five minute face and I can go ahead and take my hair down so you guys can kind of get a feel for what it would look like. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions about any of these products, feel free to leave me a comment below.